Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? What's going on? This is Tony. And I'm Jenny. And we are La Lita Loca, and these are things you must put in your carry-on or carry on your person on a cruise. That's right, Jenny. So uh, one of the most stressful times, I think, of uh, getting on a cruise is actual embarkation. Mm -hmm. And uh, you've done you've done your homework, you've done all your packing, you got your carry on bag, and you got your checked luggage. Now, a lot of people, uh, if you're not thinking about it, you might slip something into the check bag that you really need to have on your person or in your carry on. Right. And uh, just just to make the distinction, uh, just like an airport, there's a bag that you might give away that they put on the plane and a bag you might take on the plane with you. Same thing with a cruise ship. You're going to give your bag to a luggage handler. They're going to take it off somewhere and you might see it later. I mean, most of the time you're going to see it later. And uh, <laughs> But you have a bag that you keep with you. So these tips right here are things you definitely want to keep in that bag with you or uh, somewhere on your person. Right. Jenny, what's number one? Number one is your travel documentation. I don't want to put my passport in my big suitcase? No. Why not? Because then you're not going to get on the ship. That is true. There is nothing that's going to derail your cruise vacation quicker than putting your travel documentation into your uh, checked luggage because they they don't have an easy way to retrieve it. No. The, all that luggage goes on carts and it all gets stored under the ship and sorted out later. And if for some reason you put your passport or your birth certificate or whatever you're using to travel inside your uh, uh, checked luggage, there's a good chance you're not going to get on the ship. No. So you want to keep that in your carry-on or better yet, keep that on your person. Absolutely. What else we got? We have medications. Yeah, so if you are somebody that depends on medication, uh, you don't want to risk uh, your bag not showing up. Uh, so you want to keep that on you or keep that in your carry-on bag. Yeah. All right, Jenny, another important thing that you want to have in your carry-on or, or on your person, preferably on your person, on is, your person. is cash. Absolutely. Yeah, so you're going to need some money when you're on the cruise uh, to tip people or just to have, uh, you know, most of the time cruising is a cashless endeavor, but there are a few moments where you're maybe at port you need some money. Uh, I would not stash that in my regular luggage. I would keep that on me just to minimize the risk of losing it, especially like if you're a big time gambler. I wouldn't put uh, I wouldn't put all that money uh, in the suitcase uh, just in case it gets lost. Well, and you also want to have it because when you check in those bags, you should be tipping the porters. That's right. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes. What's another thing that you must or you you, sh you definitely don't want to put in your check bag? Wine and soda. Yeah, so uh, check with your cruise line just to make sure, but most of the cruise lines, they want that in the carry-on. So they, they don't want it uh, going into the checked luggage. They want to be able to run it through the scanner and just make sure that uh, you brought on uh, the things that you're supposed to bring on. So you got to put your wine and your soda in your carry-on, not in your check bag. Right. Are you ready for the next one? Yeah, what else? What What is another must for my carry-on bag? Sunscreen. Sunscreen. What, well, am I going to be out in the sun almost immediately? Uh, the Lido deck. Okay, I guess I am going to be out in the sun <laughs> almost immediately. Yeah, you don't want to You don't want to get out uh, right away under the, under the sun because guess what? Just because you're at port doesn't mean the sun doesn't shine there. And a lot of these ports are in, you know, sunny Florida. So uh, make sure that you got a way to protect yourself from the harmful rays of the sun. You'd hate to get sunburnt in the first hour of your cruise and uh, risk ruining the rest of it. So put a little sunscreen in your, in your backpack. Right. A few items is a bonus. We have a few items uh, uh, that you might want to have in your carry-on uh, just in case your bag gets lost. You should have them in your carry-on. They're shoulds. They're not musts. Yeah. All right. So if you have your sunscreen, you should have a swimsuit. So why do I want a swimsuit in my, my carry-on? Because it may take hours for your checked-in luggage to reach your cabin. Okay, that's a good point. That's a fair point. So you're going to get on the cruise ship. Uh, you, you might not have access to your room yet. You might not have your checked in bag for a long time. And you might want to jump in that pool. So yeah, I think that works. Uh, it makes sense to me. I think you should have your swimsuit, uh, I guess, in, in your carry-on bag. And another thing you should have, Tony. Yes. Is a change of clothes. But I already have some clothes. What am I going to use the other clothes for? For dinner in case your checked in luggage doesn't come. Okay, that makes sense. So I, I've traveled all day. I've got on the cruise ship. I've wandered around the Lido deck. I've changed out. I got into my swim trunks. 
and I guess I don't want to wear those same clothes mm-hmm. to dinner, especially if it's like uh, if I got a steakhouse reservation or something nice like that. I guess I guess maybe having those clothes on me instead of my bag in case it doesn't show. Maybe it makes sense. Okay, that's a good should. I'm gonna count that as a should. I'm gonna put that in my carry on, my long pants, or just another change of clothes. Mm-hmm. And then another thing, Tony, you should bring. Why do I have to bring all this stuff? Well, because you're carrying it. Okay. <laughs> Is my jewelry. You, you're putting your jewelry in your carry-on and not your checked luggage. Well, I mean, any jewelry that I'm going to change into, if it's not a costume piece, yeah, I'm going to put it in my carry-on. Yeah, I guess uh, that makes sense. Keep, yeah. keep it safe. Mm-hmm. All right, put your jewelry in your carry-on. Yeah, just because that's how I am. And then uh, now, I think we have one more, right? We have one more... Very important one. You gotta have your phone charged. You people. have to have the charger. Look, a lot of people just hit that cruise ship. They're gonna use their phone to take pictures. They're gonna use their phone to maybe stay connected a little bit. There'd be nothing worse than your phone charger being in your checked luggage and that bag not showing up. So I think, uh, yeah, I say take two phone chargers. Put, <laughs> put one in your checked luggage, one in your carry-on. I would almost put that in the must category, but but I'll relent a little bit and say that the phone charger is a nice should. But uh, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, that's five things that we feel like you must put in your carry-on luggage, not your check bag. And four things uh, that you probably should. So uh, did we get them all? Did we forget something? You know what I'm just thinking? I'm thinking somebody would say seasickness medicine. Well, doesn't that fall under the medication? Maybe. Yeah. Oh, you know what I need to put in there? What? My makeup! Your makeup? All right, guys. As you can tell, our list is not complete. It's not comprehensive. Leave a comment below. Let me know what else we need to have as a must carry on in our carry on bag. And what's something we could just leave in the suitcase? Let us know. Leave a comment below. And hey, if you found this video helpful, if you like this kind of content, please hit that thumbs up button. It helps us know what kind of videos to make, and it makes me feel warm inside. Yes. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. And uh, I don't know what you're waiting on. You should come over to the hottest, most fun, most bestest, good time on the internet, on Facebook, the La Lita Loca Cruising Community. That's where we get down with all of the cruising fun, uh, open to anybody. Man, I'm going on and on. Well, because it's Loka Fam. Loka Fam, uh, come follow us over there. All the links are in the description below. Follow us on Instagram, on Twitter, uh, and uh, all kinds of stuff. That's right. It just keeps on giving. All right, let's go pack our carry on. Yeah, we need to go book a crew. <laughs> all right, guys, thanks for joining us again. I am Tony. And I am Jenny. We are La Lita Loka. And until the next time, we'll see you on the Lido. We'll see you on the Lido. Bye. Bye.